I will say this, no rain, no snow here in the Snake River Plain. Now, with that said, there's a weak system, weak storm up in Washington and the Panhandle that is headed this way. It will move over the central mountains tonight, produce some isolated rain and snow showers, and we'll see a few snow showers over northwestern Wyoming overnight. Uh, could see that turn back over to rain tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be real spotty at best for the high country, and all we're going to see in the Snake River Plain is a partly cloudy sky tonight. A little on the partly cloudy out there right now. We got temperatures at about 57 in Pocatello, 55 in Idaho Falls. Typically, we're in the lower to mid 70s this time of year, so we're still a little bit on the chilly side. Boise, though, not too bad. They're at 66 in Lewiston with a current temperature of 70. It's 45 up in West Yellowstone, down in Logan at 56 degrees. So your forecast tonight, just a partly cloudy sky. Most places will stay above freezing. Pocatello will be one of those spots with a low of 37. Idaho Falls around 33, 32 for a low temperature in Rexburg and in St. Anthony. So freezing for some. Even American Falls pretty darn close with a low of 33. Now for the Central Mountains, isolated rain showers tonight. Now snow levels will drop down to about 6,000 feet. So Lenore, Stanley, uh, just staying slightly above Mackey with a low there at 34. And then for the highlands in western Wyoming, we have isolated snow showers overnight. Uh, Yellowstone around 23, Jackson at 26, 31 for low in Island Park. And Driggs, you'll see a low temperature at 30. Now tomorrow, same thing. We'll be dry in the morning, maybe a little bit on the cloudy side. Then we could see some pop-up rain showers. Again, the operative word here is isolated, so most areas will stay dry. High temperatures, upper 40s to the mid-50s, perhaps a little warmer than it was this afternoon. Island Park at 54. Jackson will actually make it in the mid-50s with 56 over in Driggs. Central Mountains, isolated afternoon rain showers as well. High temperatures, mid-50s, and wow, we're into the 60s, lower 60s at least in Chalice and in Salmon. And we'll be in the 60s tomorrow for the Snake River Plain with a partly sunny sky. 62 in Otto Falls, near 60 in St. Anthony, 64 at Pocatello. Seven-day forecast looking ahead. A slight warming trend begins tomorrow afternoon. And yeah, okay, that's more like it. By Friday, we're in the mid-70s. And then the weather needs to change on the weekend. There's a chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday. We have a BHD on Sunday. Could see some rain, no doubt be cooler. By Monday, a chance of rain showers. Warmest day coming up for Idaho Falls will be Friday. We'll hit 70. Unfortunately, we're not going to keep those 70s around for the weekend. Darn it. A seven-day forecast for the Teton Mountains. Teton area, Jackson, Afton, and Driggs. We got some dry weather tomorrow. I think Jackson, Afton, Dregs is partly sunny. Any rain shower should be to the north of you. And then we could see rain and snow by Sunday and Monday. Back to the winter-like weather. Now for the Central Mountains, mix of clouds and sunshine. Maybe a rain shower or two tomorrow. Uh, for some areas, otherwise lots of sunshine. We hit 70 on Thursday. Could see some rain and thunderstorms this weekend.